Welcome, dear friends, to our second reading in the Easter Vigil for Saturday, March the 30th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. Uh, this is the second of nine readings for Holy Saturday. It is called The Vigil. These verses are chosen using the Revised Common Lectionary in its three-year plan to present the scriptures to us in concert with the church year. We are now in what is called Easter in year B, and these are for the second reading in the vigil. We'll begin with a series of readings from Genesis, beginning in chapter 7 and going through to chapter 9. I will announce which verses I'll be reading at the beginning of each passage, and then there'll be a reading from Psalm 46. We begin with Genesis chapter 7, verses 1 to 5. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and his mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and his mate, and seven pairs of the birds of the heavens also, male and female, to keep their offspring alive on the face of the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth, forty days and forty nights, and every living thing that I have made I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Verses 11 to 18 from chapter 7. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on that day all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of heavens of the heavens were opened, and rain fell upon the earth forty days and forty nights. On the very same day Noah and his sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons, with, all, with them entered the ark. They and every beast according to its kind and all the livestock according to their kinds and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth according to its kind and every bird according to its kind, every winged creature. They all went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all flesh in which there was the breath of life. And those that entered, male and female of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him and the Lord shut him in. The flood continued forty days on the earth. The waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. Chapter 8, verses 6 to 18. At the end of forty days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent forth a raven. It went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set her foot, and she returned to him in the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her and brought her into the ark with him. He waited another seven days and again sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening. And behold, in her mouth was a freshly picked, freshly plucked olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent forth the dove. And she did not return to him anymore. In the six hundredth and first year, in the first month of the first day of the month, the waters were dried from off the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. In the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth had dried out. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing that is with you of all flesh, birds and animals, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth that they may swarm on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Chapter 9 of Genesis, verses 8 
to 13. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your offspring after you. And with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every beast of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark, it is for every beast of the earth. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. I establish my covenant with you, and never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Our reading from the Psalms is Psalm 46. To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God, and may you be praised for the generous provision of it to us. Grant, merciful Father, through the power of your Holy Spirit, that these words would be written in our minds, on our hearts, and in our very souls, so that you, Holy Spirit, can teach us through them, and they may cause in us to create things that are pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory, Almighty Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon-returning King. Amen. Dear friends, those pauses during Psalm 46 were because the word Salah appears in the text, and that is a command to pause. So that is what I did. I've placed in this recording the references from Genesis and Psalm 46 so that you can look them up and read them again for yourself, and I pray you'll do that. This is the second reading for the vigil for this day in the Easter weekend, year of 2024, year B of the lectionary cycle. I pray that this has been beneficial to you and that you will take time to read the scriptures for yourself and also that you will read the next entry uh, as you go through the vigil. Until then, God be with you.